sometimes I look back and I, I think about what Governor Schwarzenegger said in his, uh, oftentimes in his speeches, he would say, well, we don't have to choose between a clean environment and a strong economy. We can have both. And we can look at the math, what's happened since AB 32 passed back in 2006. Our economy has gotten bigger and emissions have gone down and we're on track to meet our 2020 targets. And some of the very popular programs that I know the public's been increasingly aware of and very supportive of are issues such as energy efficiency and buildings and appliances where you save money on utility bill plus reduce greenhouse gas emissions. We've done uh, tremendous good work on cars, but um, we're seeing greater fuel efficiency in cars. In fact, everyone's benefiting from greater fuel efficiency of cars. And it's now a national policy. It started as a state policy, so we're not going it alone on all these policies, where by 2026, we'll average 54.6 miles per gallon, saving people money at the pump and reducing greenhouse gas emissions. So my involvement in all this is making sure to the maximum extent possible we have a win, 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 uh, reducing climate pollution, um, cleaning up the air because of the contributing factor in health impacts, um, and also creating in-state jobs. And so uh, it's going to take a lot of work by a lot of good people, a lot of innovation.